figure out if, if who she is. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to bring it to the the, uh, the media's attention. So if they could get out Betsy Langer's name, if one of the Talbot Hall girls who still lives in the area says, "Hey, yeah, I knew Betsy. I just talked to her, you know, you know, several weeks ago," or "Yeah, I remember talking to her in 1975." Obviously, it's not Betsy Langer, and we can rule her out from there. Uh, there are other girls that have been listed in the missing persons database who I've checked uh, extensively. Uh, one girl was a missing girl from Virginia from 1972. Um, and she was listed in our report. Her name was Helen Allison. What we did with that uh, case is I contacted the Fairfax County uh, Police Department. Um, she was DNA was never collected off of her family. I tracked down her family. They actually. They moved to, from Virginia to Pennsylvania and were living in Pittsburgh. Uh, the state police station out in Pittsburgh helped us obtain DNA. We sent that off to the FBI lab and we, we checked it off of ours. And it's not Helen Allison, but Helen Allison is now into the missing persons database and has a stronger profile for it because of uh, actions that we've taken. So. Um, the, um, so I take it that this um, Langer, um, this young lady, um, she was uh, didn't have you don't have DNA for, for from her family that to match. Her. We don't we don't know where her family is. Right. As soon as I can find her family, I'll I'll request that I can get some DNA. Mm -hmm. But it's because that would give you certainty that this was her right, right. now. You just right. Um, have, I've been have I haven't from the victim. I haven't been able to identify or her location uh, if she's still alive. Uh, I think a lot of people. Forget that in 1973, you know, if someone leaves, it's it's kind of hard to track them down. And, and being a female, names change uh, for females a lot of times. So she might have been Betsy Langer in 73. She might be Betsy Smith now. And it's one of those things. I don't have a social security number, which really uh, helped with the other clearing out the other three girls. I was able to get social security numbers, date of birth, um, and I was able to track down their. Uh, their high school records from there. Could you spell Talbot Hall for us? Talbot Hall is yeah. T-A-L-B-O-T. And where was it located? It's actually the, the, the Jonestown Legion now. It's uh, right off of Lancaster Street, if I'm not mistaken. Right, sorry. Yes, correct. And you said it was a girls' home? Or it was a, a, a home for troubled youth, from what I've been told. Now, their records have been destroyed. Uh, that was something that was checked uh, many years ago. Um, but uh, we haven't been able to. So that's kind of, like I said before, it's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to have you guys come in and talk about, you know, just in case, it's if it's not Betsy Langer, maybe it's somebody other other girl from Talbot Hall that maybe graduated from high school and was living in the area or maybe left early or, or something like that. It's The possibilities are endless. I saw on social media somebody said, what if she was from a uh, Amish or, or Mennonite family? Uh, the possibility is there for that, and, and trying to uh, figure out if, if, if it was one of them is going to be nearly impossible. Is there a possibility she's from out of state? There is a possibility she's from out of state. Um, you know, Interstate uh, 81 at the time was being built, uh, or, or had been built, so it, it is a possibility that she's transient. Um, and we also had the uh, Indian Town Gap, which was a, a big military installation at the time, it, it could be a possibility of, of being, uh, you know, a military member—not um, military member, but a family member of a military 